All right, we're checking out the 2020 BMW X4M. This is the competition package. So you get the standard dark uh, gloss grill, all the dark openings for the intakes. It's a very menacing look. Coming out to the side of the vehicle, you're gonna have these competition specific wheels. Now the one option you can get with this, since this is the blue calipers, you can get the golden calipers with the ceramic brakes. So these are cross drilled. These are continental tires. Got the functional heat extractor and all the functional grills up front for this motor. So it's an S58 engine. It's operated to 503 horsepower in the spec. And this thing makes this puppy scoot here to 60 with car and driver's time at 3.3 and a mid 11 second quarter mile, which is insane. So, moving to the side of the car, you're going to get these nice M specific uh, mirrors with the carbon caps, nice integrated turn signals, you can clearly see. I think this profile, which is interesting, is a little bit better looking than the X6M. I think it's a little bit better designed. You lose a little bit of practicality, but still, it's not too bad of a situation. So I'll show you that in a second. So you're gonna see, even with the coupe-like roof line, it's somewhat okay. It's not gonna be too bad. So you don't want to be over six feet tall, I have to say. Leg room is pretty good. It's a very big platform that they're using with this uh, chassis. Got all your HVAC controls back here. Everything's logically laid out. Got the nice little X badging there on the deer. Nice carbon fiber trim. Nicely upholstered. High quality materials throughout. So it's an 8 speed automatic ZF gearbox. And you get these unspecific seats with the lit logos, which is pretty neat. The bolster is pretty aggressive. Checking out the rest of the interior, you're going to see very typical fashion, high quality materials, attention to detail. Now, very, very familiar interior, especially on the layout of the dashboard. So, nothing ostentatious. Everything's just thrown out with design. So, BMW really does just make a focus on the, the seating position and the quality materials. But nothing really here distinguishes this from anything else in, the, in its lineup. The car just arrived, so that's why it's got the plastic wrap on that M steering wheel. Let's check out the space of the rear cargo hold. Now I'm still trying to get used to this new taillight design. It's not very reminiscent of traditional BMW, so comment below what you think. Now you do get the nice quad exhaust system with the diffuser. Nice little lip spoiler to finish out the look. So you just push the BMW logo and it opens up the tailgate. Very nice wide opening, a lot of room for your car. And the seats do have a fold down feature. It's power operated as you see here. Coming back to the front of the vehicle. The car's going to be out with the ton of driver's aids. So you're going to have adaptive cruise control with lane keep assist, blind spot monitor, collision mitigation, keyless access, 3D surround cameras, parking sensors front and rear. Nice M specific gauges here as you see. Nice stitching on the airbag cover. Really love these M seats. Really, really cool. You can get them in several different color options. And they definitely hold you in place. Got a massage function as well. A lot of different colors for your ambient lighting. This one has the Car Harman Karn audio system. I think that's the most you can go with this particular vehicle. On the 5 Series and the other cars, you might get the Bowers and Wilkins. So once again, this is a quick look at the X4M. Let me know what you think of the vehicle, if this is the one you would go, or if you would get the X3M over this or not. So thanks for tuning in, and we'll catch you guys later. Have a great day.